seeing shit getting blown up in the air all around you, you know, life flashing before your eyes all the time, it's totally understandable that you can have this ingrained hatred of something so fucking deep. Mm. And then that maybe becomes generational. I don't know what his kids are like with it. You know? Right. And I think maybe like a difference for some of the soldiers from what I could understand, um, you know, because going towards the end of the war, is that a lot of them kind of felt that. But then they end up in Germany. And so they're then dealing with, they're seeing the cities, which shocked them. Because, you know, you're talking about cities absolutely fucking level. What kids ended up in Germany? Um, sorry, the, sol- the soldiers, a lot of the soldiers from Normandy end up, you know, in Germany at the end of the war because oh, they sorry, fight yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they might have had a different experience to a lot of bomber crews in the sense that they then they then met the German people, right? And they were supposed that they were given like a non-fraternization order. But they said it would start off, same as you in Afghan and Iraq. You start off talking to the kids, don't you? Kick a football around with the kids. And you start talking, about, all right, well, maybe not Afghan. Didn't really talk to the parents much. But the kids, and then they spent, a lot of them spent a bit of time there. And I think maybe, and again, I'm sure there's plenty of them who didn't feel this, but a lot of the ones, a lot of the interviews and stuff that I saw, these guys, because they then spent that time in Germany at the end, they realized, you know what, like these people have had a fucking shit end of the stick too. 